In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to begin to use the Adorage transition and how to make some initial customization effects. We have other tutorials where we looked at the Adorage effect and the screens in Adorage are identical, but what you can do in the transition room is much more impactful. So let's begin by looking at these two clips. We have one on the left of a couple on a beach, and then the one on the right is another couple simply biking down a road. Let's add a transition between the two. We're going to go to our transition room on the left, or we can press the F8 key on the keyboard to get there. Now, what I'd like to do now is simply click on the Adorage transition and take and drag it down and drop it right between the two clips. And then I'm going to change the duration of it. I can do it by using this button or I click on modify and change it over here. Let's go to oh, uh, six seconds. That will give us a better time to look at that. And then I simply click on the standalone effect button. That takes me to my Adorage editing screen. And the initial transition, the default one, is simply a dissolve. And as you see in the preview screen over here, it doesn't really look any different uh, than any, any other dissolve that you could bring on your project. But what we have here is something we didn't see when we use a Dorage as an effect. We have a video A, which is our left clip, and a video B, which is our right clip. When we used a Dorage as an effect, there were things that we couldn't really do for either of these, but now we can. So let me click on Video A. Now we have Video A. We have a Video A tab, a Video B tab, a Mixer tab, a Smoke tab, and an Overlay tab. We're just going to use a couple of these right now to show you the power of modifying this transition. We're going to change the size of it. Now we have a Starting tab for Video A and an ending tab. And then we have one that's both starting and ending. Let's go to the ending tab. We'll start it out normally with a 100% size and centered in the screen and no rotation. But when we end it, let's end it larger. Now if I drag the sliders over, I can maximize it to 200%. But here's a trick. If you just put the number in, you can go much larger. I'm going to go 300, 300%, triple normal size, when we end this part of the transition. And I'm also going to move the, uh, the item over and up right to the young woman's face there. And, okay, we'll move the horizontal position over. Okay, so it will focus in right there. So that's a nice nice little change in how we move it. What I'm going to do now is click on the OK button. And now as you look at the preview window, uh, you see that the, it begins this way and then it moves uh, toward the dissolve and the second one. Let's go to video B. Let's change video B as well. Video B starts out at 100% in the middle, no rotation. Let's take video B and change it too. Let's change it so the ending position of video B is also larger. Let's go up, let's go to 250 for 50% on both horizontal and vertical. And then in this case, let's add a little bit of rotation. We're going to add maybe a 4% rotation. Okay, so click on OK. Now when we look at it, we not only have the dissolve, which was natural to the transition, uh, we have it enlarging without having affected our initial clip. And then we also have this rotation and the uh, enlargement on the second. If I click on OK, and we'll go ahead and play this in our main screen. We'll look at the preview screen here. Move my playhead over. We'll click on the movie, and we'll click on our right tab. There we end our first clip as normal. It enlarges, comes in. The second clip, we have a little bit of rotation. And then we have it enlarged. And then it pops back to the normal size after the transition is over. But it's just an initial way of looking at all, some of the cool things that you can begin to do 
with the adorage transition because it's more than just changing one thing. There are many things you can modify. We'll look at more in an additional lesson. Thank you.